looks like you're back for another round. This is lesson 32, subtraction using compound complementary numbers in the tens column. So here we go. Let's just jump right into it because you're so excited to do this that you probably don't want to waste any time. And I've already talked too much. 73 minus 18. So set the number 73 on your abacus. There is the number 73. And we are going to subtract from that the number 18. We start over here, and the first thing we do is take away 1 in the tens column. That is, an, that is the digit 1 in the number 18. And now we need to take away 8 in the ones column. Hmm. Okay, so it's just like we did before. 8 triggers the number 3. Okay, so here we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, 73 minus 18 is 55. Did you get what we did there? Do you remember that process? That the complement to the number 8 is 2. But since there is a 5 or a heavenly beat involved, we have to think of 2 with respect to 5, which is a number 3. So we add that 3, get rid of the 5, and then take 1 away in the tens column. So and we are left with 55. Let's do 83 minus 26. 83 minus 26. All right, we start over here. Take away 2. That part's done. All right, we need to take away 6 from this. And the process is bang, bang, bang. And what are we left with? A 5 and a 7? Hmm. 83 minus 26 is 57. All right, I can handle that. Let's do another one. 72. There's the number 72 on our abacus. And we're going to subtract from that 16. 72 minus 16. All right, first, we start over here. Take away 1 in the tens column. That's the 1 of the 16. And now we need to take away 6 in the ones column. All right, so... Here's what the process is. Bang, bang, bang. All right, did you get that process? And what are we left with? A 5 and a 6, 56. So 72 minus 16 is 56. All right, piece of cake. Let's do another one. Let's do 23 minus 18. 23 minus 18. Start over here in the tens column, and I take away one. And now I need to subtract eight here. All right, I know what to do. I go bang, bang, bang. There it is. 23 minus 18 is five. All right, I can handle that. Don't you love how these numbers just start magically appearing? Well, it's not magic, it's pretty calculated, but it's awesome. Yeah, anyway, all right. 91 minus 26, a 9 and a 1. Oops. 91 minus 26. All right, so let 26, 26. That means there's a 2 in the tens column, so I'm going to subtract that first. And a 6 in this column. Hmm. I know I'm working with a 1 here because I'm used to that, and I go bang, bang. All right, 91 minus 26 is a 6 and a 5. 65. There it is. All right, one more. Here we go. Let's do 74 minus 28. A 7 and a 4 minus 28. All right, so the first thing I need to do is take away 2 there. And now I need to take away 8 in this column. All right. Uh, Complement of 8 is 2. With respect to 5 is 3. So I take away 3. Slide down that 5. And, oh, what do I do? Oh, yeah, I can handle this. Oh, you about got me there. I just, oh. There it is. There it is. Ooh, that one about got me. 46. So 74 minus 28 is 46. 
All right, even though most of the problems are going to be focusing on just this one principle, don't forget the stuff that you learned in previous lessons. Like me, I almost forgot how to do that there. But it's a piece of cake because I've done it a hundred times before in the previous lessons. But here it is. Oh, okay. So we can handle this. Remember, when you start doing any number, everything is that you've learned up to this point is going to come into play. So don't forget those things. And in fact, the best thing that you can do right now is to practice this principle, but to just do random numbers. Just make up numbers in your head. Start putting them on paper. Add them and subtract them because that is the best way to learn everything that you've learned up to this point. So this worksheet, it's good for learning this principle, but at this point, the abacus master, the abacus master that you are and are becoming needs to practice everything. And the best way to do that is just to make up your own problems and just do whatever you numbers come to your mind and add them together. That'll get you used to practicing everything that you've learned up to this point.